Hello everyone. Welcome to my video tutorials for single cell sequencing data analysis. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the correlation plot package. The online correlation plot package was created by Tianyun and William. So here is the website for their online tutorial. If you use the NIST package for your data analysis, please acknowledge the authors who created this online tutorial and cite their original papers in your publication. Here, I would like also to thank the authors for their excellent work to make this package available for our data analysis. So I'm converting this online tutorial to video tutorials. Then you can see how the analysis is performed in real time. If my video tutorials indeed could help your data analysis, a sum up for my videos will be good enough for me. Please also subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. So now we can go to R and start the demonstration. So first we need to load the package core plot. Then we are going to use the multicast data frame for the demonstration. So multicast is the demonstration data frame for the R package. So we can run the name for the multicast to have a look at the data set. Let's run. You can see here, down here, we have the row names for the car brand and the each module, and we have the column names for the different parameters for each module. So let's have a look at what the abbreviation stands for. If we put a question mark before the multicast, we can run it again. You can see from the help windows, you can see the information for this data set. Here is the description for the data set, and we can have a look down here. The abbreviations MPG stands for the mouse gap cannon, then CYL is the number of cylinders, then you can see other properties. Down here, so we can use the call function to calculate the correlation between each properties for all the cars. So, call is a function from the R stats package. By default, we will calculate the Pearson correlation. So, let's calculate the correlation and name it as M. You can see here we have a data frame for the correlation between different properties for the cards. So now we can use the call plot function to plot the correlation. First, we can just use the default settings for all the parameters. So let's run. You can see we generate a correlation plot in the plot window. So here is the full plot. You can see the car properties. On the left hand side for the lower part of the plot and also on the top for the upper part of the plot. The color on the right show the correlation between different properties. You can see blue color show positive correlation and the red color show negative correlation. In each grid, we have a circle to show the correlation value. The circle size represents the value from 0 to 1, and the color show negative or positive. So the core plot function has nearly 50 parameters. We can have a look at the parameters if we just run core plot. You can see down here is the information about this function. If we scroll up, 
you can see here is the order parameters for this function. If you are interested, you can have a look at all the parameters. But the mostly using parameters are the method, order types, and the diagonal parameters. So I'm going to show those four commonly used parameters in this video. First, I can demonstrate how we use the method parameter to plot the figures. So now seven realization method. The first one is called the circle. Second one is square. We have the ellipse, number, shade, color, and pi. We run the default setting already for the data frame. So the default setting for the method is the circle. You can set the method equals circle here, but we generate the same plot we showed here in the plot windows. So next, I can show you how the number method looks like. We can run use method equals number. You can see we generate a plot to show the numbers in each grid. Let's zoom in. We can see the numbers better. You can see now in each grid we have the number. Negative numbers are in red color and the positive numbers are in blue color. So next we can run the method as a square. Let's run. You can see here we show square in each grid. And once again, the color represents the negative or positive and the size of the square show how big is the correlation value from 0 to 1. We can try the ellipse method. You can see this is how the ellipse method looks like. We are going through all the methods. Then you can see which one is your favorite method. For me, my favorite method is the color. Let's run. You can see the color represented the positive and the negative again. You can see from the white color to blue color, it represented the positive values. And from white to red, it represented the negative values. And also you can use the method shade. This is how it looks like. I don't really like this one. Then we can also run the method pi. You can see now in each grid, there is a pi to show the correlation values. Once again, white to red color represents negative correlation and white to blue color shows positive correlation. And the pi shows how big is the value for both positive and negative correlation. So I showed you how the plot looks like if you use a different method. Next, I'm going to show you the orders. We have five orders you can use, the original alphabet, LE, UPC, and the H knot. So again, the default setting for the order is the original. If we run original, you can see we generated the, the same plot as the cop not m without any argument. So now we will be the default settings for all the parameters. So the order here, you can see the original order is the same order as the data frame. We have the first column as the MPG, the second column as the CYL until the last column. So they are the same order as the data frame. If you want to uh, use a different order, you can use alphabet. If we run order the alphabet, let's run. You can see now the order was arranged according to A, C, D, then G, H. The last one is the WT, so the weight for the car. You can also use the other orders, for example, the LE, let's run. LE stands for angular order of the engine vectors. 
put the online tutorial show you how to calculate the LE order. That's the detail in this part. You can see. Let's find it. Yeah, it's here. Reorder correlation matrix. They have the details how to calculate the LE order. And the next one will be FPC. FPC stands for the first principle component order. So let's run the order as FPC. We can run. You can see we change the plot. You can see it place all the negative correlation together in this area. And also we can use the H cluster as a hierarchical clustering order if we run. You can see we change the order as H cluster. If you use the order as H cluster, the core plot function can draw rectangles around the plot. This is only for the H cluster order. For example, we can set the order as H cluster and add two rectangles on the plot. Let's run. So you can see where the two angles to label the positive correlation between different properties of order class. You can also set other parameters to show the style of the rectangle. For example, we can use the blue color for the rectangle and also use the line width as the tool. So let's run it again. You can see now we change the line color for the rectangle as the blue. Here we use the method as the square and we set the diagonal as the force. Then we didn't show the squares in the diagonal Box. So next, uh, I'm going to show you how we set the layout types for the plot. There are three layout types, full, lower, and upper. Once again, the default setting for the layout is full. If we run the default setting, just the core plot M, you can see we generated the default plot as the circle and here is the full plot. If we run the function as type equals full, we will generate the same plot as the default settings. Now if we set the type as upper, let's run, you can see we only show the upper part of the plot. If you prefer use the lower part of the or not, you can set the type as the lower. You can see now we have the lower part of the plot. So we have two settings for the diagonal parameter. We can set it as true or false. So the default setting for the diagonal parameter is true. Let's run the default setting. You can see we show the circles in the diagonal box. So normally you don't need to set the diagonal as true because it is a default setting. If you set it as false, let's run. You can see if we set it as false, we don't show the circles in the diagonal box anymore. You can combine with the type, for example, we only plot the lower part and the diagonal as false. Let's run. You can see now we show the lower part of the plot. We also don't show the circles in the diagonal box. So I showed you how the plot looks like using different method, order, types, and the diagonal. So now it's your choice to make a different combination. Then you can show your favorite correlation plot for your data set. So for example, we can use the method as corner order as alphabet. We show the full plot and the diagonal as true. Let's run. Now you can see we generated the plot for the motor class correlation. 
we use the corner method and the order for the properties of each class is in alphabetic order and here is the full plot. So I hope you know uh, the basic uh, part for the core plot function. Then it will be easier for you to generate a correlation plot when you need it for your data visualization. So before I finish this part, I'm going to show you another function called the core plot mix. So this function is a wrapper function for mixed visualization. For example, if we run the core plot mixed default setting, let's run, you can see the default setting for core plot mix function show the lower part plot as numbers and the upper part as circles. So you can change the settings. For example, we can use the lower part as square and the upper part as ellipse. Let's run. You can see now we change the lower part as square and the upper part as ellipse. Because we show different method in the mixed functions, so we don't show the plot in the diagonal box. We can try one more demonstration. We can use the lower part as shade, upper part as pi, and also we can add the order parameter as hclust. Let's run. You can see now the method for the lower part is shade, and the method for the upper part is pi. Because we use the order as hclust, you can see most uh, Negative correlation part is cannot in this area will be the same for the upper part, the pi method. So you can see the correlation plot package is very easy to use. It is very useful for data visualization. You just need to remember different method types, orders. Then you can make a combination as your favorite choice to plot your data set. Okay, I'm going to stop from here. Hope to see you in my next video tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't to do so.